it's like fall. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Welcome back to the Love Lab. Today in Calabama cooking, we're gonna make a fall fun classic. We're gonna make pumpkin hot chocolate. My kids are so excited, they have begged me to make this video. So here it is. Come on in the kitchen, guys, let's cook. So guys, making hot chocolate is actually really easy to do. I know you can buy a packet, but it's so much more fun to make it at home yourself. I'm gonna start with equal parts of whole milk and heavy whipping cream. Yes, that's what everything good starts with, right? Whole milk and heavy whipping cream, okay? And I'm gonna put this in my pot and let this start heating up nicely and come to a boil, but I'm also gonna add to it some milk chocolate chips. Now you can use any kind of chips you want. You can even use white chocolate chips if you want to, but I'm using milk chocolate because I'm kind of trying to be a little traditional, make it up, you know, hot I don't know, y'all. That's just what I'm using, milk chocolate chips. I'm gonna add these in here as well about a half a cup. And we're gonna let these come together nicely on their own. The chocolate chips are gonna melt into the milk and the cream as it heats up. And then we will add the rest of our ingredients. Now that our chocolate chips have melted nicely into our milk, we're gonna take a little cocoa powder, put that in there, because we want chocolate, hot chocolate. <laughs> We're gonna give, go ahead and give this a whisk and a stir. And we're gonna add a little bit of pumpkin. I'm only using about a tablespoon of pureed pumpkin. You can use more pumpkin if you want to, but we're, we like pumpkin, but my kids are not like Peter Peter pumpkin eaters. <laughs> they like enough to say they had it, but not so much to say that it just overwhelmed everything. So I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon in here. Again, if you have more pumpkin flavor tolerance, then you go ahead and Put more in. I've seen some people put up to like, you know, a couple, a half a cup or something. That's just a bit much for us. So we're gonna go ahead and add that and give this a whisk. And again, we're gonna whisk till this comes together to a nice boil and everything is all dissolved. It's really that easy to make hot chocolate. You just melt the chocolate in with the milk, put your little pumpkin flavor in there. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of this pumpkin pie seasoning. Okay, just about a half a teaspoon and put that in there too because that's going to really set off the pumpkin flavor. That's the combination of ginger and cinnamon and nutmeg and cloves and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get this to a boil and then we will serve it up. I'm going to give this a little taste along the way to see. Get that chocolate to finish coming to us. Oh. Mom of the year. <laughs> Oh man, my babies are gonna be so happy. That makes it worth it, doesn't it? Guys, when, when the babies are happy and they're like, mommy, 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 that's everything, right? All right, this is almost done. And again, you can make it as rich as you want. If you want it to be super chocolatey, you can even add more chocolate chips. We are a chocolate friendly family. <laughs> We're not like we just wanted ah, chocolate oozing everywhere. We just want it to taste good and have, you know, the essence of the flavors. All right, this is almost at a boil, or really at like a high simmer, I'll call it. Stirring constantly, I think is important. And we're gonna actually serve it in these fun little cups here. So I'm gonna take some here with my ladle. Oh, they're gonna love this. I like having all kinds of little fancy, pretty little cute cups around, you know, because it makes something that's kind of a simple, straightforward thing. You can really make it your own. And then we'll just take a little whipped cream here. Put that, ooh, that was good. I love the, the dollop in there, just like that. Okay, and we can even take a little pinch of this pumpkin spice on there. Oh, isn't that perfect? Put me extra inside. Look at that. Let me taste this before I call them, you know, just to make sure it's right. I hate to call them up for something they asked for and it's not right. <laughs> Oh, tastes like fall. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. All right, guys, I know this is a simple, quick recipe, but I'm telling you, it's the kind of thing that you can make at home for a movie night with the kids, without the kids, however you want to do it, and you will have a lot of fun. And for the grown folks, you can slip a little something in there. And you know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time right back here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking. Happy cooking.